about how lean is too lean? Now let me shoot you straight. There's a very high probability that your favorite fitness YouTuber is on steroids. I'm just gonna shoot you straight. So if you want to achieve that aesthetic lean look you see in the magazine or some of these videos, chances are you're probably gonna have to take some steroids. Or if you want your pictures to look like those guys do, you're probably gonna have to have some professionals Photoshop your pictures. But let me tell you like this, the average person should not be going anywhere near the eights, the seven, the six percent body fat. Um, these people doing these videos with these physique shows, they're going to shows, they're getting ripped, shredded, lean, paper thin skin, all that shit. They're taking stuff, all right? Every last one of them. If you're gonna put that much time and effort to get into an arena where everyone else seems to be taking steroids, chances are, you're taking steroids, especially if you're placed in the top five. There's no way you're going to just have these amazing physiques, no amount of hard work, no amount of dedication, no amount of nothing. It's going to make you look like, you know, one of these physique competitors. I don't give a fuck how many reps you do. I don't care about your rep scheme. I don't give a fuck about what you eat. None of that shit matters. If you're going to be going for that and going that route, you're going to have to do what those guys are doing or you're just not gonna look like they look. It's not gonna happen. I don't care what anybody says on here. I don't care what cool quote or special lighting or out angling or anything like that. None of that shit, that's all illusion. That's all puff and smoke, all right? If you're gonna look like those guys, you're gonna have to do what those guys do to look like they look. There is no fitness YouTuber with a special set of genetics that allows him to do these things. Some guys say, yeah, I, like, I put on muscle pretty fast on my legs, or I do this pretty fast. No, you're at the, everyone is at the same rate. Now, there are guys, here's the same rate right here, where everyone's at, all right? Now, you have people who have subpar, who just, you know, like really skinny people who just can't put on muscle. You know, you're gonna have to put a lot more effort in, but there's no higher, you know, set of genetics up there. All these people just happen to have these ripped abdominal abs all in here, just crazy physiques. There is, the, the playing field is even. It's here, and then it's a little bit below. There's only two tiers. It's not a third tier of elite YouTube genetic freaks. It's just all fake, it's all puff, it's all smoke. All right, if you wanna look like that, you're gonna have to do what those people do. Now, I recommend as a trainer, don't go anywhere under 10% body fat, all right? You see at 10%, 12%, you're good, which means you're gonna have the fat off your face. If you can see that your cheekbones are coming in, your abs are coming in, chances are, like I always say, you're getting that visceral fat from around your heart, you're removing it, getting the cholesterol, the plaque, cleaning out your arteries, what, like having abs, like a decent, like what I'm looking like right now. This is normal. This isn't some super freaky, I know I have I know, extra chest muscle, extra arms, because I do work out hard, but it's not abnormally big at the same time the body fat level. When your body fat level is in check, everyone should have a really low body fat. You know what I'm saying? Not to fat shame anyone, but having all the extra body fat on your body is not healthy. And someone needs to just come out and say it. You know, people who don't want to lose that fat, pretty much the only way you get fat is if you eat a lot of food. Eat a lot of junk food, that's all fat is. It's bad habits. So to glorify and pamper someone who's overweight, you're doing nothing but, you know, leaving them in jeopardy because they got themselves there instead of, you know, shooting them straight and say, you know what, it will be to your best benefit to cut some of that body fat down. Oh, you want a fat acceptance. Oh, I accept it. You know, you are who we know. Because what happens? You have a heart attack. You go to sleep, you don't wake up. You might be out deciding, you know, want to go run some errands. Up, oh, it hits you. You're out of the game, just like that. So. The average person, you know, everyone should have a body fat around 10 to 12 percent, not too high, not too low. Don't start going to 6 percent shredded, 5 percent shredded. Like you see, this is some guy on the internet, the leanest dude on the planet. Some guy, like he's like fucking shredded. He's shredded to the bone. And I think, I think the quote says he's natural. 100 percent bullshit. If it does say that, he's not natural. I'll tell you right now, you're not going to look like those guys being the average Joe, who just gets up, goes to work, goes home, hits the weights, chills on the weekend, eats his food. You know, you're not gonna look like that. You can get really shredded, yes. 
but you're not going to have that fullness. You're not going to have that size. It's just not going to happen. You're not going to be gaining muscle and losing weight. All this gimmicky stuff is just not going to happen. So I'm kind of beating around the bush here with this. I know I've said it before, but like YouTube Fitness, you have to reiterate these things because people need to know. You know, I know there's a lot of people out there who, um, you know, when you find out these guys are fake natties, it kind of crushes you. And I'll talk about this more in another video. Don't let, you know, that's what those guys do. They're all in it for the money, the sponsorships, the selling of this, the, you know, it's all about, you know, what is the first thing these guys going to do? Go and buy some crazy expensive ass car. That's what it's all about. Phone. <laughs> that's what it's all about. All right. Money, material things. Then they try to tell you all, all those things don't matter, yet they have them. All right. So it's, it's, a, it's a game, people. Wake up. Don't be foolish. Don't give up on your dreams of losing weight or putting on muscle. Trust me, I didn't get this with steroids. Not an ounce of anything. It's all hard work. So you can put on muscle, you can get a good physique. You can be a regular dude who's putting on muscle, just, you know, the average Joe. Just gotta work hard, stay dedicated, stay injury free, because you don't wanna work out and do these crazy workouts and then sideline yourself listening to one of these fools telling you to do rack pulls above the knee or a thousand pound pulls and all that crazy stuff. That's how you snap your shit and then you're out of the game. So, until next time, get to the gym, do work. Muscle up. My adversaries cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes. My lyrics explode on contact, came in you hoes. Who else but mama's only son? But the phony nigga.